Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching Muyo Turyoji Season 2, Episode 12. I can't remember if this is the final episode. Um, let me look this up. I kind of feel like it is. Go to Yogi season two. I was just on the page too. I don't know why I didn't check. Twelve episodes. So this is the final episode for this season. Hopefully we get a third. I don't I didn't see any announcement for a third season, but we didn't get an announcement for a second season for a while. So that doesn't mean we won't get one. Might just be a bit before they announce it. Um, <clears throat> so last episode, they were dealing with, uh, I believe they pronounce it Tomas. Um, they had freed Goryo, <sighs> almost forgot his name. They freed Goryo from the worms that were infesting his body. That, uh, little, I guess, very familiar thing. Um, just sent them back to hell. Um, she has the power to do that, apparently. So, she, uh, sent them back to hell. Free and Goryo. Um, Blue Nose Dude. I believe I still got the page up here. Let me see if I can get a name. I can get a name here. Where are you? Nope, no name. Okay. Not on the page, anyway. I don't know why. He was a... He was a pretty big part of the season. Anyway. They're trying to fix him. Just to stop the bleeding. Um, after Goryo was fixed, Tomas ran into the back room and, uh... Guyo and Ryoji went after him. And while they're trying to deal with him, he's like trying to explain certain things and Guyo's not wanting to listen, so he tries using uh, one of his uh, magics. Uh, I think... It was like something like uh, Beelzebub's chest or something like that. I can't remember, but it was like a big... Uh, almost like a uh, treasure chest you would see in like a video game. But I guess that doesn't work on this guy because he's aligned with Beelzebub. So anything that has to do with him is not going to work. Um, and he just takes it for himself. Then he starts doing something and you see all this stuff coming around him. Then they cut to the other guys again, where the police have shown up. And they're going to take Goryo and the Blue Nose dude out of there to take them to the hospital because they're, well, Blue Nose dude is dying. <laughs> Goryo isn't so hot himself or herself. I believe it was said that he's male. So I'll go with that for now. Um,. They both need to go to the hospital, basically. But before the police could leave, Muyo and Ryoji come running out, and Tomas, Tomas comes come, coming out too in this armor. I think it was called the Beelzebub armor or something like that. And one of the police officers starts shooting at him because he was scared and didn't do anything. The others told the police officers to run, which they did. And now they're being, they were being chased by Tomas, who was using these, like, black worm-like appendages to go and chase them, because he was going to absorb them. Um, I cannot remember the name of their judge friend. Uh, I know I saw him here. Yuichi. But Hiroji saved him using, uh, some s seals. Um. 
they ended up destroying the armor using those little like goblin creatures that he uh, summoned during I think the beginning of the season they did a pretty good job on attacking him and basically destroyed everything I think it was only a head floating in the, in the, in the air but that, of course that wasn't the end of it he just pulled up another armor even stronger than before I think he said he was using his final like all of his power now um, he killed pretty much all of the little goblin things except for like a couple of them or at least one and now they gotta figure out how they're gonna take him out because he's uh pretty strong so let's get into this and see how they're gonna end this season I mean it's definitely gonna well I don't know if it's definitely gonna be with Tomas being defeated well, defeated at least, probably not killed. I don't know. We'll see. So we're going to start this episode in three, two, one. Now. Let's do that. I wonder how long the manga is. Like, I'm pretty sure it's still going, right? Maybe I'll start reading it. I'm always looking for new stuff, and I need something that's going to come out kind of regularly. I'm caught up on One Piece. I'm caught up on Watamote. Uh, 100 girlfriends who really, really, really blah, 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 love you. Um... couple others but uh, some of them they don't release well Goblin Slayer I'm caught up on too but they haven't released anything for that in a while enhance your sword huh oh thought that was gonna work and it didn't no it hurt, but that would be too easy. <laughs> I really hope they kill this guy by the end of this episode. I thought there was something that kind of drove him to be like this, but apparently he's just always been evil. Is that quicksand? So, okay, this, anything that deals with Beelzebub would not work against him, but what if they actually summon Beelzebub himself?
Cut class. <laughs> it's afraid of heights. I guess. <laughs> Smart. But he's got an abnormal amount of rent. Basically, it's a one-way trip. Either he succeeds or he dies. Or gets sent to hell. <laughs> Which is basically the same thing. You got this. There it is. It's coming up. Get back here. yet. You're going to have to.
Is that the book? It's so most likely the book. Yep, he's got it. Spirit Strikers, that's what they're called. Bean Sprout Onion. Okay. I hope you all don't expect me to remember any of these uh, magic spells. I can't even remember some of these people's names. <laughs> Alright, well, they're, they're saved. Uh oh. Is that uh, Ryoji coming through? That's a cup. Oh! All of his collections. Even Muyo's a little surprised. <laughs> like, oh my god. Oh, he ripped it in half. That's takes a lot of strength, actually. That was a lot of paper. <laughs> it took you long enough. Alright, let's close this hole up. You get out of me. a lot of his uh, energy. Yeah.
Well, this is a special case. <laughs> That's a good job look. one down. Ibisu. Being a jerk, that's what. <laughs> Don't be sued today right now. It's making the cranes. Well, I'm sure he's not fine, but he's out of the coma. <laughs> <laughs> Your body too because you moved right next to her. <laughs> uh oh gonna need to get his book fixed huh books.
Try to get him. So is it officially yours now, or...? Okay, good. <laughs> to be continued. So let's see what's going on with the ending. Don't remember if I've actually watched the ending. Just to make sure here, I don't think it's going to because there's only five seconds left. Nope, nothing. Okay. I was checking to see if maybe it said, you know, season three coming, but all we get is the to be continued. I hope that's a good sign that there will be a third season. Because if I don't get to see how this is finished in anime form, I'm going to be pretty upset. <laughs> okay. So I think I got Beelzebub mixed up with Hades. I thought that guy's name was Beelzebub. 
but I was wrong. It was Hades. Um, although I'm pretty, pretty sure he has more than one name. Whatever. Uh, Ryoji you know, had to go and put himself into pretty big danger in order to help defeat this guy. But Muyo showed that he was... Well, not that he was, but that he believed in him. Otherwise, he wouldn't have told him to do it. He didn't think he would be able to pull it off. Um, and while Roji almost gave up, his image of Muyo helped him pull through and get the book and rip it in half. I know it's like only maybe this big or whatever, but trying to rip multiple pages at once takes a lot of strength. So seeing him rip that in half, dude doesn't look like it, but apparently he's pretty strong if he could do that. Unless it was already kind of beat up and he just found a good spot to rip it. I don't know. Um, let's see. After that, it was pretty easy taking him out called Hades, had him deal with him. He's all like, man, that was fast. You just made your contract with me, and now you're calling me? <laughs> he's like, look, we got a, we got somebody here who we really need to have judged. He doesn't understand that he belongs in hell. So just take him on his way. Uh, pretty sure the rest of them... Was it, um... dark law whatever guys pretty sure the rest of them are going to be much stronger but Tomas was pretty strong uh, I'm just waiting for them to take out that dude with the mask who had the maggots falling out of his little holes that dude I don't like at all and like I said Tomas seemed like... I was waiting for them to do a backstory for him. So that we could see what drove him to join these guys. And it seems like what drove him to join these guys was just that he loved seeing people tortured. And uh, thought it'd be a good... I guess thought it'd be a good way to get his collection completed. Um, so he was always an evil dude. He was hiding the fact that he was... Uh, killing people from Paige and the rest of the academy and was about to take out Goryo when he was younger. Um, so, yeah. Not a good dude all around. Uh, he needed to be taken out. And quickly. Um, so it's a good thing they took care of him. Not that the others are any better, I'm assuming. I know some of them, like uh, the teacher and uh, Enchu, they had specific reasons for joining. Like something happened that drove them to do what they're doing. Um, I don't know about the others. I'm pretty sure some of them are just evil people, like Tomas. Uh, but some of them might actually have a tragic backstory that makes their joining them kind of uh, I don't know if I could say acceptable but understandable at least um, so yeah just like what I thought would happen they got their their office back they didn't have to go to Gorio and actually ask say you know hey since we helped you out, we want our office back. He just gave it to him. Um, especially after they just saved his life. And Ibisu, now that I <laughs> heard his name, hopefully I'll remember it again uh, whenever we do a third, whenever, if they ever do a third season. Um, didn't take long for Ibisu to get out of his coma. I thought maybe it'd be a couple days, but it was like almost right away. I mean, 
he was in a coma when they got to the hospital and after they finished dealing with Tomas and then not long after he was awake. I kind of feel like maybe he should have been in a coma for a couple days and then woke up, but you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> um, either way, hopefully Goryo doesn't go back to his old ways or her way. Right? Well, his. I'm just going to say his old ways and just start pretty much extorting people out of millions of dollars for helping them with ghosts, spirits, demons, and all that other stuff. Um, basically what got them into that situation in the first place. At least Muyo and Yoji. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so this was a really good season. I thought it was uh, pretty, very well done. We got a little, um, well, not a little. We got a lot of uh, character development for Ryoji, who not gonna lie was getting kind of uh, on my nerves in the first few episodes with how he was acting with the whole you know you never teach me anything and I don't know if I'm doing the right thing and you know all that and I I know I kept saying uh, this season in the beginning and in the first season that Ro no, not Roji Muyo chose you for a reason and we saw that he had a ton of other candidates, but you were the one that he picked. There are probably others that were way more talented, at least as far as using the spells and the uh, writing the seals and all that. But he chose you. And it just didn't seem like he had a whole lot of faith in Muyo and how he was handling him. I guess. He still hasn't quite figured out why Muyo has chosen him, but he's gotten to the point where he's just going to continue working alongside Muyo and figure it out as he goes along. Which is better than what it was before. Uh, and he has gotten a lot better with dealing with situations. Um, I don't think old Ryoji would have jumped in that hole without a whole lot of, you know, coercing. Uh, Muyo probably wouldn't even have suggested it. He probably would have tried something else. Um, but, nope, he had a lot of faith in Ryoji this time and told him, you know, to jump in there, get the book, and we can weaken him enough to defeat him. Um, oh god, I can't remember the name of the girl. Nana, that's her name. Um, I was about to pull out my phone <laughs> and look it up. But she's going to start joining in on the investigations. I'm thinking she's staying at the academy for now to help find where it, uh, Enchu is. But... She's got that uh, little familiar fairy person with her who's helping her out now. Um, that and she's using her camera to take photos and see where spirits are located and stuff like that. So their group is getting bigger. I am hoping the teacher does not try to go after... Um, dang, now this guy, I gotta look his name up because it's been a while. I've heard his name. Uh, Babiko? That's what this says. But hopefully she doesn't go after him to try to turn him and make him her assistant again. So, yeah. He's trying to learn how to make the uh, magical law books. And it seems like Muyo is going to need a new one. His is not in good shape. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, really good season. I would give it an 8.5. And, yeah, hopefully there's a third season coming. Maybe next year. 
guess we'll see if they announce one. Um, it's going to be probably a while before they do. Like I said, it took them a while to announce the second season. Uh, I think I didn't see an announcement for the second season. Maybe uh, one season before this one. So, what is this? Fall? No, this is summer. Last one was spring, I think is when I saw it. Spring or winter of this year is when I saw it. So it'll probably be the same thing for season three if I had to guess. Excuse me. We'll have to see what, I guess, Funimation is going to do since they're listed on there now. Funimation Productions. Anyway. If you enjoyed this reaction, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you can get updates on our releases. Check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for anything else we decide to post. And check out our Discord where you can chat with me or anyone else. It's also a good place to go to see if there are any updates to the channel. So, until next time, bye.